Hello kittens! Silver here, and today I'm going to be doing a collection video of my Webkin Signature domestic cats, as opposed to the wild cats, which I did feature in an earlier video. But I thought that I'd kick things off with my very first domestic cat, which was a gift for my younger brother for Christmas back in uh, 2020, I believe it was. So this is the Webkin Signature Marble Cat super sweet face on this one and as you can see I put a little hair bow in her ear just for a little extra flair. So she has those cute little round golden eyes, some airbrush markings on her cheeks, pink plastic nose and a little hand threaded mouth and there is her Gans tag and she uh, she was brand new with her tags and code and everything when I got her, which I actually never used the code for this, for any of them actually. I, I haven't played the Webkins game. Maybe someday, I just never got around to it, but for now I'm just sort of keeping them tucked away in storage. So this was uh, Noelle, which seemed fitting since she was a Christmas kitty. So she was my first, and then I actually ended up getting a second uh, marble cat from a friend on Instagram. Um, the thing about the Marble Cat is that it's so particularly collectible because of the fact that the coat spotting and patterning is going to be very, very different um, from from plush to plush. And I mean, I guess you could say that about most plush. You know, there's always going to be individual differences and, in, you know, just in terms of um, the way that they're sewn and, you know, sort of symmetry of the face and that kind of thing. Um, so I really like the fact that this one had some more of the uh, dark spotting around the face has a little bit of a, a leaner face too. Noelle's is a bit rounder and fuller. Um, but again, just the uh, the differences in the coats can can be quite drastic, as you can see. So they both have a bit of a different look to them. This one I actually, I don't think I ever ended up giving a name to, which I will have to rectify, still unsure. So that was, uh, those are my two marble cats. And then I have this little guy who is a, a gift from a dear friend of mine, Crywolf. So this is the Webkin Signature Gray Tabby. And as you can see, she's uh, in a different position. She's a little smaller than the other signatures, but just as precious. She has these beautiful blue eyes. They have a really nice reflective quality to them. And a similar sort of pink plastic nose. And her name... Uh, was Sky according to her tag so I kept Sky for her it seemed to fit the color of her eyes very nicely and I just love the uh, the darker gray stripes uh, along the back they're really prominent um, and they really stand out well against the uh, the base light gray and she has the nice little white legs and tummy and there's her little Webkin's uh, embroidered paw which they all have then we have the Webkin Signature Orange Tabby. And as you can see, he still actually has his coat attached to him, which I probably should remove from his leg. It's, you know, a little bit of a hindrance, but um, I got this guy on eBay for a very good price considering what they sometimes go for. And being a big ginger fan, this cat definitely spoke to me <laughs> on a psychological level. So again, a really, really sweet face on this guy. Uh, I kind of flip-flopped with names between them. I think the latest was Nipsey, but again, um, that hasn't been set in stone, so uh, I may end up changing my mind on that, but um, really, really vibrant coloring, beautiful striping, and again, he was brand new, so there's no writing on the tags or anything, so that was the, well, I won't bore you with that, but that's the orange tabby. Some really nice airbrush markings on either side of his eye as well. So then we have the Webkin Signature Siamese Cat as the next one up. Um, and this one I named Ming. And I think this one probably has one of the most striking sets of eyes of any of the Webkin Signatures. They're this beautiful sort of ocean blue. They're just, they seem really deep and profound. They're um, just really, really uh, striking. Uh, I think even more so because of the darker face mask. They really, really stand out. Um, and this one was a gift from a friend. I think it was purchased through Mercari, which is a, a good place to find Webkin signatures. So that was Ming. Then we have 
maybe one of my favorites is the Webkin Signature Ragdoll, who <laughs> is just a bundle of cuteness. Super, super soft, super floppy. Maybe the softest of them. Probably pretty close to the Marble Cat. I guess, yeah, they're probably about the, he's probably about the same as the Marble Cat. But um, I just love the expression on his face. It's just so full of character. Um, and he's got sort of a, almost more of a silver gray eye, um, rather than the typical ragdoll blue that you think of. But I just love the markings on this one. Um, some of them can be a little bit spotty in, in places, but I thought his face was just absolutely perfect. And he has those nice little uh, yarn whiskers as well. Um, none of these other cats so far have whiskers other than this guy. And I named him Mocha. So that's him. Then we have the Webkin Signature uh, Calico Cat, who I purchased from somebody on Facebook. Um, again, for a very reasonable price. Uh, still in very nice condition. Um, so she has that nice sort of two-tone fur to her, like a calico should. Sort of that uh, sort of amber brown, orangey color on one side and the black on the other. And she has the little round gold eyes and sort of the same type of uh, pink nose as the marble cat does. And again, you see a little bit of airbrush markings. And I think I actually touched some of those up myself because some of them um, had faded a little bit. So I added just a little touch of, of, of sort of whisker dots to her. And she's also really floppy, as you can see. Um, I don't know if that's because she was pre-owned or if that's just the nature of this cat, but uh, I would say she's probably the floppiest out of all the Webkins that I own. So let's see who else we have. We, we have the Webkin Signature Bengal Cat, who I named Calypso. And I just love the sea green eyes on this one, almost like a minty color. And the, uh, the spotting is very much reminiscent of a wild cat, sort of like a savanna cat or um, maybe some kind of leopard or even a serval a little bit. And she also has those yarn whiskers that the ragdoll cat uh, has over there. So she was, I believe, a, a birthday gift uh, maybe two years ago or so. Sort of hard to remember. <laughs> they all kind of run together. Um, so I think that is, yes, that should be everything. I'm just looking here on my, on my floor to see if there's anybody that I neglected. So that is my collection of Webkin Signature uh, domestic cats. Very lovely crew. And these guys are not too difficult to come by these days. Um, depending on the seller and the condition, you know, whether they're new, used, and have their codes, they can sort of vary in price, but uh, generally you can usually find them for um, a pretty decent price. Um, most of them will probably be under 50 despite the fact that they're discontinued. Um, even though they're not in, um, they're not being manufactured by web, uh, GANs or Webkins anymore, they are still in plentiful supply, so shouldn't be too difficult a task to find them. Um, and again, some of them are, are a little bit more pricey than others, um, but you can usually end up finding a good deal on eBay or Mercari. So that is my set of Webkin's kittens. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing them, and I'll be back again soon with some more plush goodness for you. Bye, everybody.